Yeah, this is Dave from cheapbooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the Cheeto. Uh, this is a Japanese uh, Tier 6 medium tank, and the map is Redshire. <clears throat> I usually play at the center of the map. This way I can shoot tanks uh, no matter what direction they're in. It's a lot more difficult. Uh, tanks can shoot at you from every direction, but you can uh, relocate easily. I also like to play the most challenging areas of the map. It makes me a better player. Improves your skills. I definitely recommend, uh, you know, before I was like, don't ever knock down a tree, but now I knock trees down all the time because they give you additional cover. I don't think this is a good location. So I'll try and head for somewhere else. Oh yeah, this is much better. Unfortunately, the tanks already made it through. Oh, there's one. Enemy armor is damaged. Penetration. Penetration. Wow. And we got another one coming. Nice. Let's find another target. Enemy armor is damaged. Target acquired. Enemy is hit. Let's find another target. We didn't penetrate their armor. Enemy armor is hit. Permission nice. So those are the rewards that you reap from playing Central on the map. I'm going to make an assumption that there's nobody else coming through there. So I'm going to advance on these guys. Target acquired. Penetration. Target unlocked. Now it's time to get low. We want to avoid enemy fire. Guy looks like he's fleeing. Okay, he's dead. So that's a perfect example of, of how you can benefit by being in the middle of the map. They got a lot of tanks left, so they could still win. Ready to fire. 
better for me to be on the move. Ah! Okay, I got two kills. I expect to do really well in this game. I mean, I'm, obviously I'm not going to get something amazing. But there's no reason why I shouldn't be in the top three. I got a lot of shots in. I did some spotting. Uh, it was really good, and I learned a lesson. <laughs> so the key was to go to the bridge area, to the house next to the bridge. You got a beautiful view of the tanks that are headed across that river. And uh, from now on, I'm going to go there. I'm going to get shots on so many tanks. The question is, how am I going to do it in a way that I can camouflage myself? Now, you'll note that when I'm playing, the, the game has more energy. You know, I chase after the enemy at full speed. I feel that uh, these other tanks really don't put their life into it. And it's something that you have to learn to do. You have to learn that when you have nothing to do, you have to go somewhere. You have to find an enemy, scout an enemy, chase after somebody. You don't ever want to be in a situation where you're just sitting, not doing anything. He didn't spot the artillery. The uh, tank destroyers were lit last seen on west side. There they are. I'm going to click over here just so that the allies see. Nice. That's the way you want to you want to have shots like that totally. That's absolutely the way you want to play. Too bad he's not hitting them. They got a respot. Nice. He should have gone in and rammed him. Okay, this is where we differ. I would have gotten really close to that Nash horn. I never would have let him, let him get away. I would be right up on him. So we've got one here and one here. Okay, I got a question. What is this KV-4 doing? He's uh, he's afraid. T-28 prototype is really slow. But he can also do a lot of damage. That M4, A3, E8 probably can't defeat the T-28. He really should get behind the tank. Uh, it was the Artie that killed him. So we know there's a guy here. Um, this is a tough game. Yeah, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's getting a little high. He's out in the open. 
he should have been on the other side of those hills where it's safer. If he gets spotted, the artillery is going to nail him. Where's the red line? Okay, the red line is right over there across where those trees are on the other side. And they believe that the artillery might be... Oh, God, this is an uh, awful decision. The M4 is a fast enough tank that uh, he could scout out all over the place. I don't like where this guy is. It would be better if he were in a bush somewhere where he could at least see what's going on. He can't spot from here. Uh, it would be better to see... Um, it's better for him to be in the bush so he could have a view. Oh, the, okay, there's something going on. Okay, so that guy tried to do a flank. Yes! Now the M40 is is um, probably faster than the T28 prototype. Um... And the uh, artillery is going to get there faster. There is a trick you can use with artillery where you, s if you spot the enemy, you hide and then take your shot. Um, you have to aim very quickly. Instead of shooting right directly at them, that's one of the techniques I've seen it used before with other players. The Lorraine... I think that their SPG is a fast tank. So he can zip around a lot faster than they can. We only have 10 seconds left. It's going to probably be a draw. Hmm. <laughs> 
I wonder where he was. Well, no way to know. Okay, let's see what happened. Now, as I said, I knew I was going to do well in this game. Um, and you can see that I did pretty good. I got the highest for the team for experience, third for damage, and I tied number one for kills. And the reason why, again, is because I had a perfect location. I got a lot of spotting damage. I got a, 13 penetrations. That is absolutely excellent. I wish I could have done better. If I had stayed alive, I probably would have um, gotten a lot more. But it goes to show you that dying quickly doesn't mean that you don't do well. I have many games where I die quickly and people laugh at my videos, but I do well. And there's a lot of games where I die quickly and I don't show the score at the end. This is a perfect example where I was one of the first ones to die, but I got number one for the team. And it is because of the playing style. You want to play in the middle of the map you want to play a challenging position, you want to spot on your own as much as you can. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please post below. You can see my crew. This is, I only have one Japanese tank. They all have 85%. However, I've been using this option to increase the skill. That's why he's up to 71%. I've been using all of my free XP, EXP to get him as high as possible. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.